Mold on the ceilings, mold on the floors, mold on the vents. These photos show the conditions inside Richmond Public Schools. They're contained in 24 newly released air quality reports. Don't put them in there. Don't make them sit and learn in that kind of environment. It's an issue that's had teachers and parents concerned for their students for months. A lot of them are sick. Um, my son is sick. CBS 6 reviewed every report, and while RPS says only a few schools had mold and stained ceilings, we found that all 24 tested schools had stained ceilings, and 22 of them were observed to have visible or suspected mold. So let's go through just some of the reports. At Albert Hill Middle School, mold was observed on the fan units in many classrooms and significant concentrations of mold spores on tested surfaces. At Richmond Community, visible mold growth throughout multiple locations on the ceiling, pipes, and hallway, heavy mold on tested surfaces of black growth, and active roof leaks. At Swansboro Elementary, there's visible mold growth on the window AC units. At Barack Obama Elementary, visible mold throughout the ceiling HVAC units. And at Red Elementary, surface testing indicated that mold growth and moisture occurred for an extended period of time, mold on the ceiling tiles in all pod classrooms, active water leaks, and moisture damaged ceilings and walls. Many of the reports also point to water intrusion issues, but one thing that did not appear to be a problem, there were no significant instances of elevated amounts of mold spores floating through the air. We can all agree that our needs exceed our resources. RPS says it could not accommodate our interview request to discuss the reports with a facilities expert, but in the past, the superintendent has raised concerns about limited funding to maintain school buildings. For example, the district only received $2.5 million for capital improvements in the last budget. How are we maintaining 5 million square feet with only $2.5 million? That's a wonderful question. Okay. We're not.